Well, Sir Pedro, as you said, the family is now seeking justice. Their attorney announcing a lawsuit against the Rialto Police Department, saying that 23-year-old Christopher Valadez was unarmed and posed no threat to the officers involved. Now, we do want to warn you that the video we are about to show you is disturbing. Stop! Stop! You're going to get shot! I want justice for Christopher. Um, he's not here to speak for himself. Mother Mariela Valadez now seeking justice for her son, 23-year-old Christopher Valadez. It didn't have to be my birthday for him to just come and say, here, Mom, I brought you flowers. You know, um, or <laughs> this was every day. He would come home and say, Mom, can I cuddle with you? For the first time, we're getting a look at what happened in the early morning hours of October 22nd. A deadly officer involved shooting that left 23 year old Christopher Valadez dead. Rialto police say they were conducting a traffic stop on Encina Avenue near Akasha Avenue. Get back in the car. Get in the car. Valadez gets out of the car, walking toward a house as the officer follows him up to the door. I know my rights. You can't Get touch on me, the sir. Floor. Don't touch me, sir. The officer attempts to detain Valadez, who refuses. Get on the floor now. Whoa. Get on the floor. Whoa, can I grab my phone? No. Valadez runs to the truck with video from an eyewitness showing a struggle between him and the officer. Moments later, a second officer pulls up. Valadez attempts to drive off during the struggle. This is what it looks like from a different angle. The second officer arrives, the truck backing up, and then. Stop! Stop! You're going to get shot! Stop! He deliberately, intentionally shot at a man at his head into his body when the man was not a threat. And that's murder. It would be murder to anybody. Attorney for the family, Umberto Guiz, are announcing a lawsuit against the Rialto Police Department and the officer involved. The department sticking to their initial reports of what happened, saying in part, the basic facts are the suspect refused to obey several officers' commands. The suspect attempted to flee the scene using his vehicle, and the suspect, using his vehicle as a weapon, accelerated towards another officer who took action to protect himself by shooting the suspect. But Gizar says the vehicle never posed a threat. He's not in front of the car. So how is he a de how is it how is the car a weapon? So Shelby, what is coming up next in the investigation into this police shooting? Yeah, well, Sheriff, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is currently investigating. In a statement, statement they tell me that the officer involved shooting uh, are concerned to all involved. Now, the sheriff saying that he is confident they will deliver a, quote, quality case for the district attorney to review once it is completed. Meanwhile, the family's attorney says that they're going to be seeking a review from the attorney general. Reporting live in Rialto, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.